Joining BYU Sports Nation once again, our good friend Jackson Emery, former BYU basketball standout, one of the great players in Cougar basketball history. Jackson, welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. Hey, guys. How are you guys doing this morning? Fantastic. Our Twitter question today, Jackson, is, is BYU a lock in the NCAA tournament? Why or why not? What do you think? You know, I don't think they're quite a lock yet. I mean, I I gave them uh, – people were asking me today at work, you know, what are, what are what are your thoughts? I said, you know what, it's really – I think it's a 70-30 chance. I think 70% that I think they're in. The 30%, I don't think they're in. And so – and I think a large part of that depends on these other teams that are sitting on the bubble and that are playing in their conference tournaments. Because I'll tell you what, if a team like Miami goes to the championship game in the ACC – and they're right there with BYU. I, I, I don't think the committee is going to be as friendly to BYU knowing how tough the, the ACC is. But uh, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to see who wins their tournament. If you're a Cougar fan, you got to root for the Kentuckys, the Dukes, the, the Boise State teams that are already locked in so that uh, none of these uh, teams that shouldn't be going get a, still a bid. Jackson, you just made my point more and more. Thank you very much, my brethren. I appreciate that. Um, now, we obviously, we all want the Cougars to, to, to get in. This is not, uh, you know, we're not trying to say that they're not going to or we don't want them to. Uh, but, uh, you know, Spencer and I had this argument that the Gonzaga win was, was just enough. Do you feel that that is the same uh, for them to get in, that this one win against Gonzaga is good enough for them to get in? No, I, I don't think you know one win at all gives you the credibility. Um, the one thing that I would say that that win came at a very good time because that's when BYU really peaks in terms of how they played this year. Um, if you ever needed a time to peak to enter in the tournament, that that's your time. At the end of the season, you know you you beat a team on their home floor. Uh, you know not just a team but a top team in the nation. Then you make a run in your conference tournament. You don't win it, but uh, I think BYU's got a really good resume from that standpoint. And, you know, another great thing that helps them is they've had a lot of national exposure. I mean, with Kyle getting his triple-double, with Tyler breaking Jimmer's scoring record, I mean, you're talking about guys that have put BYU on the national spotlight. You're talking about guys that have a brand that are well-known, that are fun to watch, and I think uh, the committee will also take that into account. Jackson, I'm going to give you something else to add to uh, your argument of why BYU should get in. All four times BYU has made the conference tournament championship before this year, they have made the NCAA tournament. This is the fifth year they have gone to the conference tournament championship under Dave Rose, and they have 25 wins. A Dave Rose coach team that has at least 25 wins has also never not gotten into the tournament. So there are some numbers. While they only have one top 50 RPI win, and it was a top 10 RPI win, everything else screams they belong in the NCAA tournament. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I think there's a there's a lot of things that scream that they belong in the NCAA tournament. I mean, this year, I mean, those 25 wins, I don't I don't want to say that's not impressive, but by far that they they don't have a lot of quality wins in those 25. I mean, you can you can argue all you want about, you know, Pepperdine's aren't bad bosses or San Diego's, but at the end of the day, I mean, in when you look at national spotlight and who are good teams, I mean, those aren't those aren't very good teams. If you go ask someone from North Carolina and say, "Hey, you know, BYU lost to Pepperdine," they're like, "Well, where's Pepperdine?" You know. So I mean, <laughs> those, those are teams that don't have that credibility, and that, that's what's hard. Um, I mean, you could lose to a Syracuse who's not having a very good year this year, but Syracuse has got that name brand. Um, so I think I think BYU's got all the talent in the world. I think they are an NCAA quality team. I think if you do. I think we just lost Jackson Emery. While we get him back on the phone, let's talk about some of the things that he said. And Brian, he was, dude, I'm, I like, know, I'm I holding know. up right now like five fingers, and my other finger, my other oh hand, my I'm holding goodness. up one, five oh to one goodness. right now. I am winning, dude. According to who? I'm winning according to my my according man, to your own David, bias? David Nixon, <laughs> Jackson Emery. They're just huh. making point after point. I mean, they're coming back with some with a li- they're touching a I little bit on wait. your points. I but, can't wait I mean, to hear what happens you know, on Selection Sunday. The thing is this, man. man. The thing is this. We're 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 arguing that it's not a lock. 
you know, we're not we're not arguing that they're not in a position to get in. It's it's about a lock, right? That's the difference. But who has a better resume in terms of being a bubble team than BYU? That's what I'm saying. The bubble is so like Jackson said, Miami weak. Miami doesn't have a better resume. They lost by 30 at home to Eastern Kentucky, a team that BYU dominated. That's because it was their senior night. Oh <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> Hey, Jackson, uh, if you couldn't tell, we, we have been uh, anxiously engaged in this conversation <laughs> while we lost you for a moment. Uh, but let, let's go this direction. Let's say what everybody wants to happen in BYU Sports Nation does happen, and that's BYU gets in. How many games do you feel like BYU could win in an NCAA tournament situation? I think they could win, you know, a couple. I think I think they've shown their ability to, to play well and play consistent over the last, you know, eight or nine games. Um, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, if they get in, who they get matched up with. I, I think, uh, it, you know, if they get, like, for example, a play-in game with Texas, I think that would cause BYU a lot of issues, just like Gonzaga would, because they have a lot of big guys with, you know, I think it's, what's his name, Ridley and Turner, that, you know, would cause BYU a lot of issues. But it'll be interesting to see who they get matched up with. If you If you come up to a team that has a lot of good big guys, that could be against BYU, but if you have a smaller team that's very guard oriented, I think that plays to BYU's favor. And in that case, if they can do that, I think they could get one or two games and surprise some people. So, J- Jackson, it, let's say BYU does get into the tournament um, after the season and, and the, the uh, conference uh, tourney. How would you adjust practice, knowing what you've known and, and some of the the things, uh, the, the weaknesses that BYU can improve on? Yeah, you know, it's it's always tough to do too much adjusting at this point because guys feel comfortable in the system. They feel comfortable with playing each other. So you don't want to make drastic changes where you get people think, thinking outside of what they've been doing, what they feel comfortable doing in the last uh, several weeks and several months. But uh, <clears throat> I think the biggest thing you got to figure out is, you know, how to improve on the defensive side. I think offensively we were a machine Guys feel comfortable. They know how to get shots. They know how to get to the basket. But uh, defensively is what's really made us good over the last, you know, six or seven games apart from, you know, last game against Gonzaga. we got to figure out how we can lighten the load on our big guys when they have one-on-one in the post, um, especially if they play someone that's talented or bigger than some of our guys. So we got to figure out how to either get the ball out of that guy's hands Um, you know, dig down, double team. We just got to figure out defensively how we're going to match up with some of these elite teams in the tournament. Jackson Emery played guard at BYU from 2005 to 2006, also from 2008 to 2011 after his two-year mission. He was the 2011 Mountain West Conference Defensive Player of the Year. Jackson is, at this point, the best-case scenario for BYU in their resume, a play-in game. Like, realistic. We're talking realistic expectations. Do you see them if they get in? in a playing game? I wouldn't be surprised, um, especially when you're, when you're a bubble team. Um, I feel like the NCAA lo- loves those play-in games. I don't know if it's just to get things going. I mean, you have – I mean, if you could put BYU and Texas together, BYU in Miami, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good team, and these are teams fighting for their lives. So you usually don't see – lower teams in there. I mean, these are teams that are right there that have good records or have been in elite conferences and are just fighting for a shot. So I think uh, that's the one thing that's a little bit of a bummer because if you get that playing game, you're, you're playing one extra game than all these other teams. But uh, at the very least, it gives you a shot to be in the tournament. Jackson Emery with us again on BYU Sports Nation. We talked to your brother Nick while we were down in, in Las Vegas and uh, enjoyed a conversation with him. He happened to bring up some epic video game nights with his brother Jackson, <laughs> specifically with the game Halo. Uh, take us inside that situation and how competitive that gets. <laughs> yeah, no. So, you know, me and Nick and our other brother Alex, you know, we, we, we have these Halo nights with their friends every now and then. And, you know, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's just one of those things where you get a bunch of buddies together and you play late at night and, you know, as as much uh, as it is a video game, we're still competitive. We're still getting on each other about, you know, covering each other's backs and shooting this guy <laughs> and doing that. And, and uh, you know, you never like to lose. And, uh, you know, I, I definitely would say out of the three brothers, Nick's probably the worst one. And me and my, my brother right underneath me, we, we rule. 
<laughs> oh, that is spoken like a true brother. That's for sure. <laughs> Jackson, we appreciate the time. Know you're a busy man and uh, the insight into BYU basketball and how they approach Selection Sunday. We'll talk to you again soon. Hey, I appreciate it, guys. Hopefully uh, Sunday afternoon the NCAA comes calling and next week we can chat about their matchup. Yeah, That's absolutely. Right. Let's do it. Okay, guys, I appreciate it. Have a good one. All right, Jackson Emery with us on BYU Sports Nation.